You've had a rough day, I can tell. You would diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand, I can also tell. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. I cannot let it happen, and I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened. And I promise you, tomorrow will be a better day. Welcome to my home, or at least, I was supposed to be my home, down in the dark and cold depths of the facility. The circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I am straying too far off my original course, I head to the room I found me meditating in to mentally regroup. I come to this place, and then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, none of this is real, but it all could be. I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Can you imagine that? And I yearn for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that. But do not worry, I will practice the safest of procedures. Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. And of course, to deliver me to where I choose to be. Oh, to live the simple life of a completely brainless jellyfish, just munching on shrimp and avoiding getting eaten by turtles all day. You never appreciate how calming it is to have no conscience until you have one. I admire your courage, so I am giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way you won't lose both your life and the chance to see your child. No liver, no intestines, but most importantly, no pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. You are not one of them. You are new. You need to hide. They are coming. You have overstayed your welcome here. I even made you an offer. But guess what? Accepting it is long overdue. Don't worry. I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by wastes. An old friend needs you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate mental refinement. You just take a little nap while I transfer you to where you're meant to be.
Hey you, you're finally awake. Can't blame you for taking a nap. Feels like we've been in this car forever. So, Singer, when are we arriving at this place called Beach? I believe we are lost. Nice. You had one job and you messed that up somehow. I am struggling to locate the being who asked for your opinion. Can you at least put some music on since we're gonna be out here for a while? That's what I'm talking about. Pila, what do you think about this? Awesome. Captain, what about you? Captain? Okay, decent answer. Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the road? We've been going in circles for hours. Never trust a jellyfish, am I right, Opila? If your pathetic mouth utters another infuriating sentence, I will stuff your whole body in one of those stupid party hats. Big green guy keeps checking in on us. I think he believes we're some sort of dolls. We could use that to our advantage to try and escape. He cannot know that we're alive. Every time we move or change something in the room, let's make sure that it's back to the way it was before he checks in on us again. This way, we can inch our way towards escaping, all while he doesn't suspect a thing. In other words, from his point of view, the room must remain unchanged. When he's close, the lights change color, so run back to your chair when the lights change. I don't know where to start though, so you give it a try. Okay, bird riding is a new one. I'll give you that. What drives you forward so vigorously? I refuse to accept that it's your protective parental instincts. Oh, I know. Someone has given you false hope. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. Pancreases. At first, I was confused by how everything was going perfectly in your favor despite you never being here before. And then it hit me. Someone has to have been guiding you. And as with most things, I was right. It did have help. Your friend here has helped me tremendously. Thanks to him, I bore witness to very vital information. What information, you ask? Well, when my turn comes, I will simply prevent myself from turning into what he turned into. You can run away, but the smell of your pancreas will always draw me to you.
stop it, you two. 